All right, guys. Just picked up the new boat. Actually picked it up a few days ago, but uh, finally got around to doing a little bit of video of it. Gonna be taking it out on the water here. It's a little neighborhood lake that I have. Um, but wanted to show you guys the brand new boat. So, there it is. 2023 Nitro Z20. Nice looking boat. I actually didn't pick the colors on this boat. This is just um, one that the Bass Pro Shops had. And uh, instead of waiting for them to build one, I just told them I would take this one right here. So, 2023. Nitro Z20. I actually like the colors. I probably would order this color scheme um, if I was looking. It's like a white. Uh, the bottom of it is black. And then you got the black and the silver. I don't know. The silver kind of comes up weird on camera, but it's actually really nice. Black and silver. Um, but yeah, I really like the color patterns on that. I think the silver kind of comes up brown on camera, I think. But in person, it's, it's, it's a really nice color scheme. But we're going to get it wrapped anyway, so... Wasn't really too concerned with the color. We got the Mercury 250 Pro XS. This thing is gonna be fast. It's one of the reasons that I ended up going with the Z20 instead of the Z21. Um, we're not really fishing any big water this year for the Pro Circuit or Invitationals. Um, so I really just wanted the extra speed, especially since I'm just doing those uh, at Toyota Series and not really messing around with too many team tournaments. So figured the Z20 would probably probably be a little bit better option for me this year. We got the twin power pole blades, 10 footers. Shout out to power pole, hooking me up with those guys right there. And uh, also while we're talking about the power poles, get to the back here. I got the power pole charge hooked up right there. That thing is a must have. Charges all the batteries up when the motor's running. You can see all the battery percentage, everything like that. So that's a really nice addition to the boat. Um, got the Monster Marine Lithiums rigged up in here, running the dual 36 volt 40 amps. And then we've got a cranking battery over here, another lithium, and then we've got a, another battery that I'm gonna run the graphs off of eventually. I don't have the graphs hooked up yet. Um, still gotta do that, but uh, we'll, be, we'll get there. We came with a little five inch Lawrence, so took that guy off, but we're gonna mount the same grass that I had on my old boat. So there's gonna be uh, two Solixes right there, the Solix 12s, and then up here up front, there's the power pole switches where I have them rigged up. We got the Ultrex up here. Um, and then on this bow panel, I'm gonna have the Solix 15 and a Garmin 12 inch for the live scope. But uh, clean boat. I really like this, the layout, the setup, everything about my old Nitro. Uh, I was running a 2016 Nitro Z21, and I, I kind of like that boat, so decided to stick with Nitro for now, and really liking this boat so far. I've only had it out like one time, um, but it fished pretty good. We're going to take it out a couple minutes here, run it around, still breaking in the motor, and maybe catch a few fish while we're at it, but uh, here's the front of it. Got one big compartment. I like that. My other boat had like three compartments up here. And um, I kind of like this one big compartment better, I think. So you can fit a bunch of stuff up there. I don't, I don't really have any tackle in here yet. And then you just got your two rod lockers right here. Like usual, nice big rod locker there. Just got one rod, I got a couple rods in the truck. I'll probably just take one rod out here on this lake with me. It's a pretty cool lake, but it's just full of small ones. It's just like one to two pounders. Why I don't really film out here all that often. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's the boat. We got a, a touchscreen panel up here, Z-Touch, but uh, all pretty pretty standard stuff. Just got your live walls, your bilge, everything like that. So I think we're gonna drop this guy in the water here. Uh, maybe make a few casts. And uh, part of the break-in is like every 10 minutes of running it, I can get it up to full speed, so. I just got the lithiums and everything installed, the power poles. The first time I ran it, I had like nothing on the boat and I got it up pretty quick. I got it up to like almost 76 miles an hour. So I'm curious to see what it'll run now. Um, 
with the lithiums and the power poles. I don't know if it'll lose speed, gain speed. Not really sure, but I think it should be probably like a low to mid 70s loaded boat, I'm hoping. So that'll be a nice little upgrade from my old boat. If you guys remember, I had a 225 on that Z21. So it wasn't, it wasn't very fast at all. So breaking that 70 mark is, is pretty cool and um, really enjoying that extra speed. Should be able to get a few more a few more minutes of fishing time in these tournaments, so that'll definitely be nice. But let's drop this guy in the water right here, and uh, I'll take you guys along with us, see what we can't get this thing up to. noticed about driving this boat is it's a lot more nimble than that z21 the front deck you can tell is a little bit smaller which i don't really mind just because all the tournaments i'm fishing this year are just going to be me on the front deck so that's really not a big issue for me um, but you can definitely tell it's a smaller boat it moves around a lot quicker uh, you can turn it a lot quicker so that's definitely something that's different from the z21 and it also could be because i don't really have any gear in the boat yet there's nothing in the front compartments or anything so that could be part of it but uh you can tell that this boat you're gonna be able to drive it around in, in tight spots a little bit better But anything over two pounds is big in here. That's a tiny guy. <laughs> Might not even be I don't know what you're gonna get rid of somebody eats them. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's bad, that is about ten inches. <laughs> I got one. <laughs> Same size. Yep. There's so many of them out here. Makes no This is why I don't film out here. <laughs> Bunch of these little guys. Come out here and catch like 50 fish a day though. Pretty much throw whatever you want. Unbelievable how many small fish there are in here. I was just talking to this guy Brent that lives out here and he's gonna start taking a bunch of these little guys out because there's just too many of them. I mean, this place is just full of these guys. Calm down. It's fun because you can come out here and kind of just do whatever you want to do and you'll catch some fish, but at a certain point catching a bunch of fish under a pound gets a little bit boring. All right, I'm gonna fish through this one little seawall up here. It's usually good for a fish or two. And then we're gonna go run the boat around a bit. All right, let's see how fast I can get this boat up to. Alright, since I don't have a GPS or anything hooked up, I got my phone down here with a little GPS on it. Maybe you guys can see it, maybe not. But uh, 
this lake's not very big so I can probably get like up to speed getting towards the end of it but we'll see what she can't run Speed 77. That's pretty good. It did start to chine walk on me a little bit once we got up to that top speed, so I have to learn how to drive it just a little bit. My old boat didn't really go fast enough to walk any, but also could be because I don't have anything in the boat at the moment. But 77, that's a good speed, but don't really have anything in the boat, so if I can get 73, 74, maybe even 75 fully loaded this is gonna be a pretty quick boat so actually pretty impressed with that speed 77 that's pretty quick and this lake isn't very big I mean, that's that's the whole lake right there so I think on a, on a bigger body of water where I can really get everything dialed in with the jack plate and everything else I mean I might be able to hit 78 79 so don't have anything in the boat but uh, this is a definitely a quick boat it runs pretty good so liking this boat a lot just gotta get the grass and everything rigged up and then we'll be ready to go for tournament season. So really looking forward to uh, to getting out on the water this season. I didn't really make like a formal uh, announcement what tournaments I'm doing next year, but I am gonna be fishing the MLF Invitational, so the full, the full series there, six tournaments, no championship. Then I'm signed up for the Central and the Southern Toyotas. I'm gonna be fishing those two divisions. So between those three circuits, I'm gonna have a ton of tournaments all over the place so i was looking at my schedule and i think like february through march there's like six tournaments or something like that maybe even more there might have been like eight tournaments february march and april something like that so i was only home for like two weeks at a time or, or like two weeks that whole time so it'll be a busy schedule especially at the beginning of the year and uh i might end up jumping into those northern toyotas at the end of the season too just because those are really fun to fish i really enjoyed fishing up north and um yeah, I mean, that smallmouth fishing, that was really fun. I think the St. Lawrence River was probably the most fun I had in a tournament this year. So depending how everything goes with the season, how we're, how we're doing, um, all those are kind of like August through October, September, something like that. So they're all like basically after the season's ended. So if I'm having a good season, having fun, want to fish some more tournaments, I'll probably jump into those. It's kind of hard to make money in those unless you finishing like the top 10 just because of the travel cost of getting up there from Florida um, but those are fun and, and it's cool to film some videos up there so if the season's going well I'll, I'll probably end up jumping into those northerns but as of right now we got the invitationals which is that new pro circuit and then the two divisions the Toyota Central and Southern so if you guys are fishing any of those um, come up and say hey to me let's talk fishing always appreciate when you guys uh, say hello I know a lot of you guys uh, have I've met a lot of you guys in the southern and the northern Toyotas, but I'm gonna be fishing the centrals, which I know a lot of you guys fish. So if you see me out there, see me on the water, at the ramp, whatever, come up and say hey. But uh, we're getting back to the ramp here. So I'll do it for the new boat video. Let me know what you guys think about the new boat. I'm excited about it. I think it'll be a good boat for the season. So let me know what you guys think and uh, we'll see you at the next one. I'm gonna be uploading probably like two to three times a week now on the off season. So definitely look forward to a couple more videos coming down the pipe.